How's it going guys? Hope you're having a great day out there. Welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about a lens that I've picked up recently for my Lumix S5 and for our S1 that we use for our media company. And that is this beast right here. This is the Lumix S series 85 millimeter f1.8. Now I understand that this is a photography lens, but we primarily shoot video. I believe even for video, this thing packs a punch. I want to talk about the reasons why. Let's go ahead and hop into it. So everything that you saw right there was shot on this 85 millimeter. And this lens actually comes from Lumix S series line, which is a more prosumer slash affordable lens. And if anyone was like me, whenever I switched to Lumix, I found myself wondering, okay, what lenses do I actually need to buy? Obviously I've adapted some EF glass with the Sigma MC21 adapter, but there wasn't really a lot of options for glass unless you bought the Leica L mount lenses that are astronomical in price. So I really think that Lumix have knocked it out of the park with this this S series now they have the 85 mil I believe they have a 50 mil a 24 mil and a couple of others as well I know the 20 to 60 kit lens uh, that comes with the S5 and the S1s those are S series glass as well and that series really excites me reason number one is this S series line and this 85 millimeter in particular can be had new for about $700 it can also be had used for anywhere between five and six hundred dollars on eBay or KEH very good price for a lens that delivers big results secondly the autofocus on this lens is crazy good which I know coming from people who have shot Lumix uh, it's hard to believe that at some points in time because with Lumix cameras for whatever reason their autofocus is really not up to snuff with Canon or Sony or other brands that have really good autofocus but this lens really surprised me even in video mode and, and obviously I'm talking primarily for video today but even in video mode the autofocus from this lens it's quiet it locks on nicely and whenever paired with the S5 and its face and eye detect it actually stays on subject pretty well so one of the other things that I really enjoy about this series is even though they are a plastic construction, it does feel like it's a solid built little lens. And with the plastic construction does come some advantages when it comes to saving weight. Now, it's not gonna be as durable as a metal barreled lens, obviously, but I don't think that should stop you from giving this lens a chance or any of the lenses in the S series for that matter. Plastic is pretty durable feeling and it's super light. Most 85 millimeters are a metal barrel and like one of my favorites is the Sigma 85 millimeter. That thing weighs like 10 pounds by itself so putting that on the front of your camera it really weighs it down with this on the front of the camera I, I can barely feel it especially for shooting long handheld shots my arms aren't going to tire out as fast because it is a lighter lens and the last reason I love this lens for video is 85 millimeter is such a beautiful focal length. Whether it be for tight shots during interviews or, or B-roll shots, the bokeh that comes from this focal length and, and even this lens in particular, very pleasing. The bokeh is very symmetrical, very soft, and it's beautiful, especially when you are up close tight and if you're wide open at 1.8. Now, as far as disadvantages, really can't think of any off the top of my head other than if you are wanting something more durable, you may want to consider one of the more expensive 85 millimeter options, whether it be the Sigma 85 or even like a Leica 85 millimeter. The plastic construction is not going to be as durable, and we all understand that as a more expensive metal barrel lens. That's just one of the trade-offs that I can think of right off the bat. Other than that, I really have no upfront issues with this lens on the video side. So with all that being said, I wanna know your thoughts on the 85 millimeter F1.8. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Also, what other lenses from the S series do you guys enjoy? is the series that you plan on picking up yourself would love to know all that in the comments down below thank you guys for being a part of this channel i love growing this community here on youtube y'all have a good one and we'll see you in the next